Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this short episode, I'd like to show you how you can uh, set a reminder on a list or a document library based on a, a column that we have, which is a date. So for instance, in this list or library, I have a due date for documents that uh, something needs to happen. So out of the box, if we go to into automate, then we will see set a reminder and we can choose the column that has a date so what happens here is it starts a, a flow a power automate these are the connectors and we can uh, just connect and uh, what it does it it asks us how many days before uh, the date um, it will send a reminder so it can be 30 days 50 days uh, whatever in this case let's do it uh, one day before and I will click create um, now um, it usually will run uh, once a day and um, then you you will receive a mail of all of the documents that have actually um, the date which is uh, one day before the due date uh, actually, we can go uh, and see uh, how the flow works. So we can go to automate and we could uh, actually uh, view what the flows we have. So you see there's a get an email reminder. Now because now we can edit it and actually see um, all kinds of things. Uh, how often it will be run every every day at uh, 15 hours but you can change it you can say the interval it can be once a day it can be monthly once a second a minute so let's set it to once a minute just so we can see uh, how it works I'll click it I'll pause the, the video and then let's see if we receive a mail okay I'm back so uh, after um, the period usually it's on the time I received a mail Ami Diamond you asked to remi be reminded one day before due date is for the following and these two documents actually uh, need one day before to be uh, set um, let's just see you see we have two for the fifth today we are on the fourth so it's actually uh, one day before uh, it ran and this is the mail we received and you can click on each one of those and and see actually what uh, what it is so it's very powerful <coughs> second thing I want to show you actually let's see here's another one and this is actually uh, showing the same thing uh, additional thing I wanted to show you is actually that in the document library we can mark uh, a file and we can request uh, actually uh, approval so I will mark this uh, document and I will go to automate and we have request sign off so once this happens it kicks uh, another flow of approval and actually what we can do is here is to define who will be the approver let's say, wait for a second and so the approver in this case will be myself but in reality it will be something somebody else and we will say please sign so uh, now it, it's run and what will happen is I will receive a mail that I need to approve something. So I'll just pause. So I'm back and actually uh, I am the one that needs to approve. So I can click here on the link to see actually the, the document that I want to approve. Then I can go back and let's say if I uh, approve I'll click approve and I can write that it's okay 
and what happens is after I approve or then there's a uh, additional column of sign off and you see it's pending and now it should be approved so let's see now it's approved now let's see now there's a, um, a mail that says AMI uh, sign off this is a comment actually so we see here the whole process so what we saw here is one to send a reminder it, it also happens for a list and also a request sign off um, so thank you very much and in case you like my videos subscribe to my channel and see you next time goodbye